Hi guys! Are you looking for a course that explains the full process of sculpting a character likeness in ZBrush? Would you like to better understand how do I sculpt a realistic portrait using just photo reference and anatomical knowledge? If this is the case, then I welcome you to Nexted Education's ZBrush Character Likeness Sculpting course. My name is Victor Yamakado, I'm a 3D character artist with 10 years of experience in 3D art. For many years I've been working with character sculpting for collectibles and character modeling for production. In this course, I want to share with you all the way I do for creating a complete and realistic portrait of Anthony Hopkins. I want to make you fully introduced into this amazing journey of studying and recreating famous portraits. This is surely the most challenging skill that a 3D character model can have. Most we need to be always concerned on developing our perception and sculpting skills. By sharing my process, I really want to make you open your eyes and take a whole new look at how do you perceive your reference and how could you translate it into the sculpture process. We will develop a stronger perception by using many techniques for comparing distance, understanding negative space, comparing a lot of facial shapes, and also understanding some of the most important features of the anatomical structures of the human face. We will learn to identify these features in the reference and check if they are quite the same in the model. We start by building a pretty simple and generic base mesh, focusing on a good topology for doing portraits. Then, we are going to sculpt firstly the primary forms, capturing the overall likeness on volumes and silhouettes. After that, we're gonna break up the symmetries and we start with the font. This will be the secondary forms. We're gonna try to match even more the overall volume, but now we start to sculpt realistic skin wrinkles and coatings of the human face. And finally, we will cover my whole process of doing surface details like skin pores. These are the tertiary details. For this, we're gonna focus on using just the default alphas we have in ZBrush, just blending and fully understanding how to apply each one of them. Not satisfied yet? Moreover, we're gonna cover how did I model, sculpt and detail his clothes, how did I create his hair with fiber mesh, and how to do a really nice polypainting on your model. Even for a grayscale presentation, simulating skin tones and also realistic eyes polypainting. This course is designed for intermediate ZBrush users who really want to take their sculpting and perception skills to a next level. If you want to join me into this journey, so prepare your coffee and let's start to sculpt together.